me in camera on with KP Cape. Check. Tension music. Check. It can only mean one thing. It's time for this week's nomination results. L to the I to the V to the E. Check. Day 19 is statistically the most depressing day of the year, and for the housemates, it's not going to get any better. Let's head over to the big guy. I'll be well, come on. I was 10 minutes left. There was 10 minutes left, didn't they? Oh, it's... Can yeah, like an, an hour ago. It was yes, his big brother. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are, in no particular order, <laughs> Latoya. And Amelia. And and oh wow. And there's no end that the transmission stopped. I heard them. No, it's no. still on. Okay. Still on. It's not. I think that's right. Yeah, but you it's don't not. say and when you're saying names. Yeah. But they can't just have one person leaving. Of course they can. Yes, they can. Eight people for the final? Yeah, I exactly. don't think, I think there's going to be another eviction. No, no it could be, it could be one on Wednesday, one on Friday. Yeah, I think one there's going to be Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Monday. Did you do I mean, well, expect, I mean, Is that it? <laughs> I'm expecting that. It's yeah. normally they say housemates can leave the sofa, don't they? Yeah. I reckon it's going to be like half an hour later and... So, there we go, Latoya and Amelia up for eviction. But little Nathan's quite a little clever clogs, isn't he? Because there is indeed a surprise eviction on Wednesday. Well, it wasn't a surprise for me because I was booked. But uh, Latoya and Amelia, these are the numbers to call. To evict Amelia, call 09011 212204. To evict Latoya, call 09011 212209. And the lines are officially open, starting from... <laughs> the cheering, the lines open, I believe, now! Woohoo! Yeah, the lines are open! <laughs> hey, at least ten feet from each call will be donated to safety details, which can be found at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Now, earlier today, office oddball and swashbuckling pirate actor Mackenzie Crook swapped the Caribbean Sea for far choppier waters as he assumed control of the good ship Big Brother. There he is, catching up with him later on. But back on Terra Firma, we're going to be stowing away behind the scenes with Big Mouth Matt and James as they uh, hijack the housemates. Plus, we're getting our two pounds worth of friend and family flesh with Jane Callista's F and F, everyone! <laughs> Major, right? <laughs> And, as ever, we want you at home to stick your roar in in today's big shout. These are numbers to call. Nail it, Leon. Nicely nailed. 0871 200 1040. Text studio. And your comment to 83188 or email us via the Channel 4 website, channel4.com forward slash BBLB. Yesterday, the housemates nominated for the second time. So today's Little Brothers uh, big shout topic could only be, nail it, my friend, who would you have nominated and pourquoi? Start getting your texts and emails coming in right now. Now, no news is not good news when it comes to us because uh, we want to get the latest in Little Brothers big news. <laughs> Oh, thanks a lot, gang. Nice, nicely applauded at the top of the show, really. especially you. <laughs> uh, so, as if the gruelling daily tasks weren't enough for one day, at uh, 12.56 this morning, Amy decided to... This afternoon, to be fair, decided to uh, challenge herself to eat three cream crackers in a minute without any water. The buffoon! <laughs> <laughs> Who else is it against? 20 seconds has gone. Is it just Amy by herself? Oh, 20 seconds has gone. You need a need to consume. One minute. How do I do this? Confidence, confidence. <laughs> See, look, literally, she's sawdust already. <laughs> Isn't it best to put Keep it going, in come your on. Hand. So, breathe, look, it's the sawdust coming out of her mouth. Look. The loads in your hair. How the hell's it got on your hair? <laughs> come on, I thought you were going to do this. Easy. Come on, come on. You still got a chance. Amy, you've got two. Oh. Well done. It's a two more. It wasn't even two. That's quite pathetic. Rubbish attempt, brilliant piece of conceptual art. Uh, today, hijacker Mackenzie Crook. <laughs> Uh, turn the housemates into nerds in homage to his character Gareth in the office. And at 207, Jay Latoya and Amelia became Twitchers for the day. Uh, Twitcher fans, get ready to be offended. <laughs> Hello, nerds. Hi. Hi. 
Have any of you ever twitched before? No. Huh? Twitches are the, the train spotters of the ornithology world. They're only concerned with ticking off different species on the list. I will be flying in various birds into the garden throughout the day, which I'd like you to, uh, to identify using your field guide. Can you write down the key features, guys? I'm looking in the book. I'm looking I'm in the book. I'm doing it, Ray. I'm big. My eyes is quite big. Oh, my God, it's flying away. Oh. There we go. And at 4.33, Hijack and Mackenzie Crook announced the results of today's nerd task and awarded one housemate the accolade of best nerd with some very cool prizes. Take a look. I've decided that the best nerd for the day the award goes to Jeremy. That's my rubber band ball that I told you I made on the set of The Office. It's probably a bit perished by now. And then the book there is my, my very own personal copy of Lofty Wiseman's SS Survival Handbook. That, I think that was on my desk throughout the whole series of The Office as well. So really? Oh, awesome. awesome. Have, a, have a flick through it, but apparently you're not allowed to take it back into the house because, you know, with the skills you could learn from that book, it's Obviously, very I, you know, I could, you know, straight away. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do like that, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, that was Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> uh, now, since clocking on for his hijacking shift earlier today, the newest addition to the Big Brother payroll, Mackenzie Crook, has been hard at it in the booth. I made an appointment to see Mr Crook in his new office early on today. It's over to you, Dermot. Thanks, Dermot. Mackenzie, how are you? Very well, nice thank to you. See you. So, you're a big fan of Big Brother? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Always? Uh, uh, yeah, from the, from the very beginning. Well, that's wonderful. So you must have jumped at this, then. Yes, absolutely, to take charge and have some power. So, what, and what is it like taking charge and having power? It's good. I was, I was a bit nervous they weren't going to like me because of the, the boring tasks I was setting them, but they seem to have entered into it with, uh, with aplomb. So talk us through what you're doing today. Well, in honour of Gareth Keenan out of the office, who's ultimate nerd, perhaps, I've set them what would normally be considered boring hobbies, boring mm. tasks to do. We've got some reenactors reenacting a medieval. <laughs> um, Jeremy here is having trouble with his Spock here. He's making a, a rubber band ball. Jeremy looks a bit like Spock. And in fact, this is the first time I've seen him without the rubber band ball in his hand. He's been doing very well. Maybe he's losing concentration now as well. Okay. We've got some twitchers, some bird watchers there. And Anthony and Callista are making airfix models. Brilliant. And how are they doing? They're doing all right. Uh, Anthony and Callista are having a bit of trouble with the fiddly parts. Um, the twitchers are losing concentration a bit. Uh, but but I've, it's because I'm just talking to you before we start this. I'm, I like my bird watching myself, and sometimes when we're in the camera and I have a look around, there aren't that many birds that, that hang around. There's a couple of magpies. Yeah. And I believe I saw a wagtail the other day, but yeah. other than that, that's pretty much it. So we've put some onto cardboard and we're dangling them. Oh, right. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, in fact, they seem some pretty exotic species. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. What have you put onto on, on dangly? They've, they've had a stalk, they've had uh, a shag. We chose the shag because it's, you know, amusing. Yeah. And they had a curlew, which uh, I don't think a curlew has ever been spotted near Elstree. No, oh. definitely not. Um, who's, the, who's the nerdiest of all of them? Mm, and that's what I've got to decide. I'm not quite sure where it's going to be. Um, I mean, Jeremy's been working alone, and as we know, nerds quite often like to work alone. Yeah. Uh, Solitary figures, right? Yeah, it? he's doing he's doing well, doing very well. What about John? Because John seems to be taking uh, to the sort of the reenactment scene with the, with the pomp. Yeah, he, he went through a bit of a surly stage a little bit, early, which I wasn't very impressed with. He was sitting there, but he was claiming to have a hurty eye, so we'll give him the benefit. John of the doubt. does that. He yeah. has the black dog on his shoulder every now and again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he just sits there and yeah, he's yeah. his own man. And, and what do you make of the housemates as a whole? You're you liking them. They're actually a lovely bunch. So yeah, I was I was a bit worried that Anthony. I saw Anthony having a go at uh, John the other day, mm. pouring water over him, and I thought, oh, I don't like that. But no. I've just been chatting to him in the dining room, and he, he's a lovely guy. I don't want to be sycophantic, but they're all lovely people. You surprised by that a little bit? A little bit. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. I thought there, you know, a lot of egos, but then perhaps, well, this this task is. is Set to, to strip away all egos, hopefully. Do you, well, do you think, being a, a you know a Big Brother fan, that we that they've done the right thing this year by putting these sort of people in there who probably have uh, less wannabe status, as it Absolutely, were? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, because they're already halfway there, and uh, yeah, there's no psychopaths in amongst them. So <laughs> it's, it's always, always a relief. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Amelia Latoya up for eviction. What do you make of that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Amelia's been a bit sulky since her brother went, mm -hmm. and. Um, 
Yeah, well... Do you, do, you, who do you think will go out of those two? Actually, I think, you know, having said that, Amelia has probably been more entertaining, so perhaps the toy will go... The toy is lovely, but, you know, sure. lovely isn't what you're looking for. You're looking for entertaining. And who do you want to win? I, th I think John. I, I, I think I'd like John to win. I think he's a good guy. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, what's this? That's my beanie. Oh, sorry, I just thought it looked like a little sort of... No, it was like that, so it looked like a bird. <laughs> no, that's, that's... It's actually just a beanie. I'm really sorry. If I went to throw it down, I'll put it But this is, <laughs> this is all my nerdy pop. Thank you. Cheers, Dermot. Nice to see you. And you. Over to Dermot. Thanks, Dermot. Stay with us after the break when we'll be chatting to the F and F of the uh, Beauty and the Sheik, Calista and Jay. There they are, everyone. <laughs> they are there. F and F. We are in the presence of F and F, and we'll be having a high uh, peek at tonight's hijackers, Big Mouse, Matt, and James, as they spread some brotherly love in the house. We'll see you in three. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to BBOB Celebrity Hijack. The time is 7.47. Yesterday, we went from uh, three sexy Hollyoaks sisters to two sexy Big Brother guys who present Big Brother. Why? It's just Bongo. Um, as our very own Big Mouthers, Matt and James, give security the slip and hijack the house in person. Here is how they got on. We are hijacking the house. That's what we're doing. But we're actually hijacking it. We shall not sit within the safety of a booth. Right, we're about to go in the Big Brother house. Here we go. Just wait to go in. Are we going in or what? I'm starting to get a sweat on. Less than a minute. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Let's go. We understand that you probably hate us, but our aim of today is to uh, make amends. You guys are forgiven. I've seen you in the tub, crying out for the solace of another big guy. If you say the word, me and you, tops off, I've got my trunks. <laughs> this is my contortion. <laughs> it's good, again. Yeah, oh. Love that. Very nice. 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 Genuinely love that. Now, uh, we know that Callista loves to play the old... <laughs> ..in the morning, uh, and that Jay thinks that leggings under a chunky knit is so a good look this season. But we want to know more about the pair of them and their blossoming friendships. So, here to get to the bottom of all things Jay... Major. Uh-huh. And Callista... Ha, 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 Jay's mum, Monica, his model-slash-best-friend-slash-muse, uh, Masseray, plus Callista's dad, Paul, and her flatmate-slash-friend, Slash Muse Ali. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's nice to have you here for a, a nice wholesome F and F chat. Now they were both slow out the starting blocks. I think it's fair to say it's taken us a while to get to know and love them. But are we seeing now the real Jane Callista, Paul? Oh yeah, Cal Callie is a, a warm, cuddly, affectionate <laughs> person, and this is not your average environment. No, is it? sure. Know, so, okay, yeah, uh, uh, so. uh, Monica. Um, J the reason for Jane J being started off slow mm. is because he was sort of reading everyone up. He was trying to see who is his type of person, yeah. who is like, you know, he is with Callister and yeah. he really, really gets on well with her because <laughs> the reason for that is because she listens to him and she understands him. So, well, I think that's kind of nice about all the housemates this year. Yeah. It's, it's sometimes in the summer it can be a bit of a shouting contest where these guys seem to listen far more to each other, don't they? Yeah. Are you surprised they've done so well to come this far? I mean, I know, you know, you probably know the answer to this, but you know, you've know, you only got a week to go and they've done really well. Well, Callie is someone who's a big fan of this programme. So the longer she stays, the more fun she's having. Sure. There's little doubt about that. She actually, she actually just loves this kind of environment. It's oh. almost made for her. I mean, it's a bit intense. Yeah. But uh, 
I think it's, it's all a bonus and it's all delightful. OK, the friendship's only 19 days old, but they've, they've, burnt a, they've uh, built a firm bond. Let's take a look. What's her name again? It starts with C, right? Is it Califor? Oh, I love Jay so much. <laughs> Four, five, and six. <laughs> Fierce, 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 fierce. Now you're vulnerable. Do you think Anthony feels a bit weird now? Yeah. Who's your favourite? Oh, Callista. Yeah. She's definitely going to be the one who takes my heart away. So gorgeous. Hi. You was easy <laughs> when it came to men. I'll never let you down. I'm so glad he's here. What a legend. <laughs> it's not often that I meet someone and they make such a big impression like she has. Oh, that's nice. That's really lovely, yeah. OK, Ali, why do you think Jane and Callista are drawn to each other as friends? You're well, friends with Callista. you know, I'm, they're both, like, creative people and they can, like, bounce ideas off each other and, yeah, bubbly, fun. Yeah. OK, and Masway, Jay said he wanted to find a new fashion muse in uh, Big Brother. Uh, is this Callista because he was designing clothes for the other night? Yeah, I think so. I think, so. I think she's very... Um, she's kind of a blank canvas, and she's very beautiful as well. Isn't she's she? got, yeah, striking features that I think that he could, he could um, easily use for... Yeah. yeah for an why, why do you think they get on so well, those two? I think they, they um, as both parents said before, that they see... They're quite similar in some way. They are very similar. They, yeah, um, yeah. He's, he's very respectful and she's very respectful towards him and others in the house as well. So I think that's what... That's one of the aspects, anyway. That now then, Monica, on his application form, Jay said that Jay is his alter ego and very few people get to see the real Jermaine, which is his actual name. Are we seeing Jay or Jermaine in the house? I think you have seen Jay, because Jay is his fashion name. So who is this Jermaine? Jermaine is extravagant. Loud, yeah, really? yeah. Really? but because he's more of a happy yeah, person. More he's, a happy he's, person. Um, don't get us wrong. Jay and Jermaine are the same. They do yeah, have the so same he attitude. So doesn't have any clinical problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, yeah, they do have the same. Have established that. They yeah. do have the same attitude as I said. Respectful, you know, gets on with everybody. Speaks to, I mean, speaks to everyone. But Jermaine's more of a outspoken in the sense of mm -hmm. the way he dresses. He's whereas Jay is more confident in. Um, in, in his um, appearance and everything else. But, OK, cool. Yeah. Now, Paul, we saw Callista getting very close to Anthony. We've mm. been seeing it. What's going on? Any ideas yourself? Yeah, I, I mean, I think Callie is someone who's going to be drawn to anybody who's presentable, delightful, good-looking mm -hmm. and also sensitive. Fair enough. The real truth of what's going on, we'll only find out when she starts writing the song of it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's where her real feelings are always shown. Yeah, yeah. because we've got... Um, yeah, where does the inspiration for Bongos in the Morning come from? <laughs> <laughs> I worry. Well, um, you, you played it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> that, well but what's the deal? Because she, she has a boyfriend. I know, obviously, yeah. I don't want to uh, go on uh, yeah. uh, too sensitive matter here, but she has a boyfriend. And um, are, you, are you speaking to him at all? Yeah, or? and is he, he is an utterly delightful young man. Is he all right? I've, I'm sure they'll have a discussion or two after the event. Yeah. But, you know, he's mature enough to know this is not a, a, a kind of everyday situation. Sure. Uh, is An would Anthony be her type if she was a single girl, do you think, Anne? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a good-looking young guy, but I think she could probably do better with a musician, really. You know? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, now, Callista seems to be... Uh, she, they're both having a good time, but out of everyone in there, she seems to be the one that is increasingly vulnerable and, and self-comforting yeah. and so forth. And we can just see just... Uh, yeah, you know, she's sucking yeah. her thumb a lot and so forth. Do you think she's struggling in there at all, in, in terms of the intensity of it? Well, let me put it like this. She's never done that for ever yeah. in my life. So, yeah, I think, you know... The thing is that she's got terrific... I suppose it's what you nowadays call emotional intelligence. She's got little emotional antennae out here and they're kind of going, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, she's vulnerable. Okay. Cool. I Great. think that's where um, her friendship with Jay comes in um, yeah. quite important as well because I think he's a bit of a pillow for her to lay yeah. on. He's quite comfort comfort yeah. Comforting at times. Yeah, I think that's why the relationship has grown so much as well. Sure. Yeah. What do you think? Just very lastly, the parents. What, what do you think they hope to get out of it? Because obviously these people, are, uh, you know, they're both doing very well in in their very fledgling early careers. They didn't need to come in here. So what, mm. what would you? What what would they get out of it? Sort of blue sky thinking. Okay. Well, actually, Explosion. much of what she was hoping 
would come has already started right. I mean, we've got this delightful tens of thousands of people going and listening to her more serious songs yeah. on a website. Loads of record companies now. But, you know, this is all great. great and actually, stuff. she, as I say, she was a genuine fan of the programme all along, so she loves it. What about Monica? Uh, what does Jay hope to get out of this? I think Jay is looking for exposure and also is looking, f he, he wants people to know, know him as a young designer. Sure. OK, yeah. brilliant. Thanks, Laura. F and F, everyone. <laughs> For uh, today's Little Brothers Big Shout, earlier, of course, we revealed Amelia LaToya going to face the public vote this week. We asked you at home who would you uh, have nominated and why. Uh, Natasha's first up from Worcestershire on the webcam thing. Hello, Natasha. Hi. Hi, who would you have uh, nominated for and why? Um, I wish they could have nominated John, actually. You'd have nominated, yeah, you, so you wish we could have nominated John. Why? I don't like him, because he's really <laughs> kind of... Um, he's not exactly fun to watch, is he? And he's a politician. <laughs> OK. Um, pretty harsh reasons there, but um, I'll keep the bedroom vigilanteism. You keep that going. Uh, thanks a lot, Natasha. Yeah, Next nice. up, Owen McGee from Stockton-on-Tees. Hello, Owen. Hiya. Who would you have nominated? Right, um, I'm surprised at who went, and I feel really sorry about this. Anthony and Jay. Sorry, friends and family. OK, why, why uh, Anthony and Jay? Uh, well, Watergate for Anthony, basically. He spat the dummy, maybe he misses his family. Sure. Uh, Jay just... Seems a bit like everything seems such an effort for him. I don't know if he's really always like that. Are you talking about Jay or Jermaine? That is very yeah. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to um, say that this is one of Jay's outfits. The the jacket is <laughs> wonderful. It's always great to have a bit of product placement on the show. That's it all for today. Thanks to all our guests coming up tomorrow. I'm having a little grab. Everyone's favourite loose woman, Kay Adams, plus don't miss the double serving of the boys tonight with the main show and of course Big Mouth. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.